Number one, piss someone off. This is a slang expression, to piss someone off. For example, Danielle did something to piss Anna off, so she told him to get out. They aren't talking to each other right now. Do you think when you piss someone off that you make someone pay for what they did? Or do you think you make someone angry when you piss someone off? To piss someone off means to make someone angry. A synonym would be make someone mad or to annoy someone. Note, you can also be pissed off at someone. For example, he's pissed off at Mark or Mark pissed her off. Number two, cut back on something. This is a phrasal verb, cut back on something. Let's look at an example sentence. Annabelle watches too much TV these days. She really needs to cut back on watching so much TV. She should spend more time outside. Does cut back on something mean to stop doing something or to do less of something? Cut back on something means to do less of something. A synonym is to reduce something. So to cut back on sugar, for example, is to eat less sugar. A quick grammar note, to cut back on something, well that something is a what. So that means it needs to be a noun or a gerund. The gerund is the ing verb that follows another verb and looks like a noun. So she cut back on TV. TV's a noun. She cut back on watching TV. Watching TV is a gerund. She cut back on sugar. Sugar is a noun. She cut back on eating sugar. Eating is the gerund. This is a good opportunity to ask you to hit the like button and subscribe if you find value in these kinds of videos. Number three, pissed. To be pissed is an adjective pissed. You recently learned piss someone off, so you might be able to guess what this means too. Here's an example sentence. Stay away from John this morning. He's pissed about something. So what do you think pissed means? Do you think it means A, untrustworthy or B, angry? So pissed is angry in American and Canadian English. So it means to be angry, to be pissed. A synonym is mad. Note, you can use these in a few other ways. To be pissed is this one, to be pissed at someone, or to be pissed off about something. So to be pissed also means to be drunk in British and Canadian slang. You see, Canadian English does mirror British English sometimes and it mirrors American English sometimes too. We're stuck in the middle, if you will. So a synonym to being pissed, to be pissed, is intoxicated because that means drunk. So John is asleep in his office. He's pissed. He's pissed drunk. Number four, crack someone up. This is an idiom. Crack someone up. To crack someone up. So here's an example sentence. John cracks me up. He's so funny. So what do you think crack someone up means? Does it mean to make someone laugh very hard or to make someone very upset? To crack someone up means to make someone laugh very hard. Here you can see she's covering her mouth and her tummy because she's laughing so hard her tummy hurts. A grammar moment. We can crack someone up, but this is the only form. You crack me up, he cracks her up, we crack them up, but you can't change the form. You can't say crack, crack up someone. You can't say it like that. Number five, addicted to something. Addicted to something is an adjective, to be addicted to something. Here's an example sentence. Mary is addicted to sweets. She can't stop eating cookies at her desk. She's addicted to sweets. 
Does addicted to something mean A, become dependent on a substance or thing, or B, be attracted to something? To be addicted to something means to become dependent on a substance or a thing. So a synonym would be hooked on, hooked on, addicted to, hooked on something. Here we have a platter of sweets, so maybe you're addicted to sweets. Or you know that famous that famous song, Addicted to Love. What are you addicted to? Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. I'm addicted to chocolate. Word number six, this is the last word of the series. A wet blanket, this is a noun. So here's an example sentence. Mark is a wet blanket. He's always so negative and sad that he brings everybody down around him. I don't want to invite him to the party. So is a wet blanket someone who spoils the fun of others because they are negative or disapproving or someone who is wet and uncomfortable? A wet blanket is someone who spoils the fun for other people because they are negative or disapproving. So a synonym would be a party pooper. That's a good word, a party pooper. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Bonus quiz time. Let's see how well you learned these words. First, I will pronounce the words on the right-hand side for pronunciation. Piss someone off. Cut back on something. Pissed, to be pissed. Crack someone up, addicted to something, and a wet blanket. This is a good chance for you to, a good time for you to pause the video and match the definitions to the words and expressions, and then you can check your answers in the next slide. But first I will pronounce the definitions on the left too. Number one, someone who spoils the fun of others. Number two, to become dependent on a substance or thing. Three, to make someone angry. Four, to be angry or to be drunk, depending on if you're American or British. Number five, to do less of something. And number six, to make someone laugh very hard. So you can pause the video here and then the answers are on the next slide. The answers are number one, a wet blanket. Number two, addicted to something. Three, piss someone off. Four, be pissed, to be pissed. Five, to cut back on something. And six, crack someone up. Thank you for watching a video by Melissa Carroll, my English teacher.